We're learning that the man accused of covering puppies in chemicals before tossing them into a dumpster actually planned on selling them. Fox 5's Molly McBride spoke with a man who says that he paid for one of those puppies just days before the two-week-old animals were dumped. She has his story in this Fox 5 update. The man accused of dumping the puppies is named Michael Grindrod. According to police reports, he lived here along with another man named Jarrell Cologne. Now, Cologne says he had sent Grindrod money and was waiting for his okay to pick one of the puppies up when he heard about what happened in this dumpster and realized that new puppy wasn't coming. Where do you want to start at? Let's start at the beginning. Cologne notices his maintenance worker and casual friend Grindrod's dog is pregnant. He says Grindrod asks if he wants one. I talked to the, the man about it and he said we could pick whichever one we want. Cologne takes these photos of the puppies he thinks will soon be his. He sends Grindrod $200 and they agree to wait till the puppies are older before he picks them up. In the meantime, Grindrod asks if he knows anyone else that might want one. But he says Grindrod doesn't seem panicked about getting rid of them, saying he would take care of it if he couldn't find any other buyers. It wasn't like a shelter where you give them out to people, but not what they, not what I read on, not what they found. According to police reports, Grindrod puts the nine puppies in a garbage bag, sprays them with Fabuloso and bleach, and then throws them away in this dumpster <coughs> until they're rescued by apartment complex workers. The question left is why Grindrod would have done this if he had another option for at least one of the puppies. Now, the apartment complex owner told police that Grindrod had just been fired and evicted after failing a drug test, and Cologne says he thinks he must have panicked. Now he's facing five animal cruelty charges. Earlier today, he appeared in justice court for the first time. His case was moved to district court, and he's scheduled to reappear in early December. Reporting near Charleston and Jones, Molly McBride, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.